Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to cook parsnip soup in the soup maker. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. So you'll need um, some big chunky in season parsnips. Uh, the skinny ones are all right, but you'll need a lot more of them. So just think this kind of weight. And then what you also want is you'll want some veggie stock. Um, a little bit of milk. I recommend skimmed milk because it's thinner and then you don't need as much and then some parsley, some grated cheese, and then some salt and pepper, and then you should be good to go. It's a very easy soup to do, so if you're not that confident using your soup maker yet, then it's a great starting point. So, I recommend first that you load your veggie stock into the bottom of your soup maker, because this creates the liquid that your soup maker needs because then it'll stop it from burning on top. And then you can focus on peeling and dicing your parsnips. And then once you've peeled your parsnips, if your peeling's out of the way, oh, by the way, the peelings are absolutely fantastic for some Instant Pot veggie stock. And that's where our stock actually came from. It was just Instant Pot veggie stock that we'd made from veggie peelings that we'd then, um, Loaded in to add ice cube trays, frozen it, and then defrosted it whenever we needed some. But oh, parsnip soup. Can I just say, I'm addicted to the smell of parsnips. You know, like we all have our food, don't we? That we're just addicted to. Parsnips soup and anything parsnip is very much my thing. And then, as well as this, You'll need some salt and pepper. Sadly, uh, three parsnips doesn't make a big quantity of soup, but it's just lovely if you want some soup. And then add in your milk. And then the lid's ready to go on. Probably need some more milk when we're done because parsnips are incredibly thick. But we're going to put it on the chunky soup setting because then it gives us a chance to monitor it. And then, of course, it automatically sets for 30 minutes. We're going to come back and check on it on 25. So the parsnip soup has now done its main cook time. So we turned it off and now back on. And then, as you can see, you've got quite mushed up pumpkin there. So I'm just going to add in. Bit more milk. I just want to use up some of this Greek yogurt that I've got left in the fridge. You know what it's like when you've got that tiny little bit in, and it just seems like such a waste not to use it in something. But it's not really that much of some. So then, once you've done that, lid back on, and we're now going for the pulse. Because parsnips are incredibly thick, and it's the balance of how much liquid in. I'm just going to do a pulse and then I can check on them and if I need to adjust it even more, I can. So now having a look at it. I can see it's still really thick, um, like how I'd imagine parsnip puree to be if you were served it in a restaurant. So I'm just going to add in a little bit more milk. And then because I've added in extras, I'm gonna make sure I add in extra seasonings as well. So it doesn't end up with like one of those soups that tastes like dishwasher water. So extra salt and pepper and parsley, I've just added there. Right, so 
the lid back on. Pulse it again, shall we? And then whilst it's been blending, I'm going to have myself a bowl ready. There's a lot of steam coming out of it. Oh, and that's more like it. You've got proper parsnip soup now. I mean, take a look at that. I mean, that just looks fantastic. And the thing here is you'll notice I hardly put any liquid in at the start. And that is because um, there's a lot of starch in parsnips and you don't know how much you're going to need until you're finishing it off at the end. So I always go with the bare minimum during the cooking and then I can add milk and I can add yogurt or you can add cream or you could add Philadelphia cream cheese right at the end and it just brings it all together nicely. And then once you've done that, Pour yourself some. And of course, I love mine with some grated cheese on top. I don't know about you, how you have yours. So let's just add a sprinkle in there. Have some red Leicester. Just created like red Leicester from a bag. And it's just perfect now for serving. So the parsnip soup's had a chance to cool down. Oh, and look, the cheese has melted on top. Mmm. Oh, I love the taste of parsnips. And people don't get my obsession with parsnips, but I just absolutely love them. And of course, this full recipe is available on recipethis.com. Simply search for parsnip soup and you'll find it on there. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.